We're here with Luke Johnson, who's done the Adelaide Masters 2013, uh, and we're at the King's Hall here, obviously, in the at the Belfast Festival of Bikes. Luke, what are your plans for 2014? Well, basically, we'll be back at the Masters next year again, um, staying in the 600 class with the same bike again this year. Um, we had a Super Stalker last year, so we're converting it to Super Sport specification this year. Still won't be the fastest bike out there, but we'll be we'll be close. I, I hope. Um, yeah, it definitely, it won't be the fastest thing out there, but it might give me a wee bit of an advantage that I didn't have last year. So yeah. we'll, we'll see how it goes. It's a long season; anything uh -huh. can happen. But yeah, hopefully we'll be there towards the end of the year. Yeah. And like you, you had a fairly good season last year. Yeah, it was quite good. I ended up fourth in the, the Super Sport class last year. Um, hopefully we can maybe make it onto the podium next year, but we'll see. It's a really competitive class, so very we'll see how it goes. Yeah, Very competitive classes, because it's actually probably the best racing of the day is that, is that 600 class. But, um, you know, so... Uh, and, and there's one round at Bishop's Court. Are you doing any other r r circuits or... Um, we might do a couple at, at Bishop's Court just to, as a bit of testing before the Masters round. Um, we'll see what our budget allows. Um, the Masters takes priority and hopefully we might get across the water a couple of times. But it's all down to budget really. We're a family team. We don't have that big a budget. So we'll just see how it goes. The, the, the Masters has to take priority, I think. So yes. yeah. I think you're no different than anybody else. Everybody seems to be struggling for, for pound notes and coins. Uh, the same itself. But, you know, that's, that's a hard times we're in all right Mark. um but uh so 2014 basically your aim is the adelaide masters hopefully win the championship or so at the very worst second <laughs> yeah well hopefully you know, <laughs> that's the plan anyway um it might not always turn out like that but yep. it's a very competitive class if i'm at the front I'll, I'll be very very happy um i should have the bike to do it this year so who knows i, I haven't many excuses and yeah we'll, well, well it's down to you well listen look it's been a pleasure talking to you as always and thank you for talking to behind the bubble and enjoy your day at the connor, show. Behan. connor welcome to the belfast Adelaide show. Um, you had quite a good year last year, oh, racing on the roads here in Ireland. Yeah, it was a really good year last year. You know, it just took everything as it comes to me. You know, just took me time and, and you know just got used to it really. Uh, coming into this year, I didn't really expect Ryan to have a ride there available, so I found myself really lucky. You know, to, yeah. to jump on with Ryan for this year. Uh, and this year, it's really go for it. You know, I'm training in the gym. I'm really working hard at it. You know, and I'm, I'm going to do 100 percent and uh, make Ryan proud of me. And hopefully, hopefully, then for the years to come, I might be with him again. You never know. That's where I want to be. If that was you taking it easy last year, I wouldn't like to see you trying because uh, I have seen some onboard footage, and uh, <laughs> I'm sure you've seen it as well. And for somebody that was taking it easy, you were going down hard. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. You've got, you know, you've got to try everything. You've got to sort of give it 100%, you know, but I didn't have last year, maybe, you know, I didn't have the sort of the fitness track really I should yeah. have had. I didn't have the track knowledge. I didn't do as much homework as I should have done, you know, and I do regret it. And I'm really grateful that Ryan's given me another chance on the bike this year. Uh, this year I'm doing 100% everything, you know, and, and it will, you will be able to tell, definitely. Oh, oh, of course, yeah, of course. And like you didn't miss out in the championship by much. No, well that's it, but I did miss out on it, you know, and that, that's something that I looked at and thought, you know, if I'd have put my my work in, I'm definitely good enough to ride a bike and win the championship, but if I'd have yep. put my work in, I would have won it, you know. Yeah, and like, uh, I can't remember what the points difference was, but uh, I do... Uh, five, I think it was. Five. Yeah. So your plans for this year are all the national road races and what else? Uh, all the national road races in the 650 and 600 Super Sport uh, and the TT, Man the, not the Manx, I might be doing the classic TT, that is sort of maybe, maybe, but I've not got anything secured yep. for that yet. Um, Ulster and the North West as well. So the North West and the Ulster will be two new ones for me again, so that'll be interesting. Yeah, yeah. so that's that, that'll be a new one for you? Yeah, that'll be a new one. There's a couple of new ones this year, you know, I think they're running bush again, are they, this year? That's right, that was Derek, Derek, um, Derek Ray, who just was talking, asking you questions here from the Bush Club uh, just before we started this interview. Yep, Bush is back up and running again, uh, Kells is running again, 
Fokin is supposed to be running again as well, which is way down the country. There's, a, there's actually a very, very packed calendar. You may actually move house to Ireland this year, I think. It, I have considered it. Don't, don't get me wrong, I have considered it. Um, well, like I say, it's like me, me learning you cut in half again, you know, from last yep. year. But no, I'm going for it 100% this year, so it'll be okay. Well, I wish you all the very best in 2014. Uh, and you try your heart out, you know, and the results will come. Uh, Connor, uh, congratulations on runner up last year. Yeah. But and hopefully you may be able to do one better this year and, and best wishes for 2014. Thanks We're at the town of down here the, at the Belfast Bike Show uh, too big long a name to, to go through it all with Paul Garland uh, who rides, rides the roads here in Ireland as most people know uh, Paul, you had quite a good season in 2013 Yeah, we had a good season we had a Especially in the smaller class, the WSV class, we had a couple of good results. We were just outside the top ten at the Northwest. In fact, we were inside it until the very last corner of the last lap to be done a wee bit of grass tracking. Uh, as I've been joking, if I had got that tenth pace, I probably would have retired <laughs> and boasted about it for the rest of my life. But it didn't happen. Uh, we were knocking on the top ten at the Ulster Grand Prix again. So we've been there thereabouts. Yep. Um, so if we can, we're consistently inside the top ten of Scarborough, but then that would be one of my better tracks. Yes. So if we can improve on that this year, that's yep. the. Yep. And you're, you're moving. Uh, you're getting sponsored by Team Hotties in 2014 as well. Is that correct? Yeah, riding for Hotties. Uh, Michael Pearson's teammate this year. Um, Michael's concentrating more on Thunder Sport this year, yes. and I'll be. Well, he's still doing the roads, but yep. concentrate more on the tracks, and I'll be pretty much concentrating on the roads just. Yeah. Um, I'll be riding 600 and 650 for them. Still getting back in from Northwest ga Gas. Um, that's the plan at the minute. Two bikes at the minute, possibly a super bike. Yeah. But uh, we'll, it'll be we'll Cookstown. It'll be Cookstown before we know know about that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, plenty of time yet. There's two months to Cookstown. You know. Uh, like you've your plans for 2014. Um, we know you'll do all the national roads and you do the international events, but uh, you're going back out to the Czech Republic again this year. Yeah, going out to the Czech. We uh, we raced out in the Czech 2011, I think it was, myself and Aidy McFarland. We, we teamed up back in his last year, unfortunately, and we'd done uh, that European Championship, the, and it was very good. I would yeah. definitely recommend a lot of riders to get out there. Go there. It's good, like, um, yes. the tracks are, are good. Yep. And it's racing the way racing used to be here yes. 50, 10, 15 years ago. Atmosphere's uh, atmosphere, amazing. Atmosphere's good, the tracks are very good, and the clubs look after the riders. It's racing without the, the BS that unfortunately yes. yep. has taken over the sport. Yep. To and, uh, and like I myself went out to Horace last year when had been about when on the podium whenever Michael had uh, won the, uh, the the feature race and he broke a lap record three times on his way to doing it after spending uh, a couple hours in the hospital after a spill in the morning in the, in the warm up uh, it was so emotional that, uh, that uh, the team hottie boys were running around saying get that man tissues but uh, it was great to see local guy be be so popular out there and like Victor was so popular out there Eddie was so popular out there you're obviously going to be popular out there again when you go back but they make you so welcome they do as much as they can for you as you say there's none of the BS they, they really are really into their racing and into their they, they just, just love to see foreigners especially us from Ireland come over Oh yeah, oh they're they're passionate about it. Um, the the show that they put on really would not be possible over here. The way things are at the minute, like they, yep. they can they, they can just shut a town down like that, yep. run a race right through the middle of it, and you know people are more interested in getting the show on the road than maybe what way could we make a claim and yes. shut the clubs down. Uh -huh. um, we could learn a lot. We could learn. We actually could learn a lot. That is right. And as as you, yes, as you say, the Horace it goes right through the the centre of the town in Horace, and like the whole town shut down. And the, the only disappointing thing I found about it was that 
after they've worked so hard all weekend, all week and all weekend, that after racing on Sunday night, the whole town shuts down full stop. And you couldn't even get anything to eat. Except to go to a pub. <laughs> we, we found the same back in 2011. We got finished up for the day and our flight wasn't until uh, Monday evening. And we all wound down, got changed out of our leathers and we headed down into town for a bit of a party. And there was no party to be had. Everybody had went home to go, get ready to go to work the next yeah. morning. Uh, probably the Irish could probably learn a wee bit from that too. Because yes. not, if, if the same thing happened here, there'd be no, none of us at work Monday morning. Well, we'll never learn from that though. You know, we'll never learn from that. But uh, listen, uh, Paul, the, the best that I can do now is from behind of myself at Behind the Bubble, the Tandagee Club, and all your Irish fans to wish you all the best for 2014 and you have a safe and successful season. Thanks, Paul Garland, for giving us this interview. No problem, buddy. We're here at the Tandagee stand at the Belfast Bike Show, quickest way to pronounce it, uh, with Ross Patterson. Ross. Tell us how, about your year in 2013, how things went for you. Yeah, uh, the start of the year I was riding a 125 and it didn't really go that well, you know, I'm six foot tall so it was a bit too big for it and then in May I got a 600 uh, and I was just going to take it as a learning year on it, you know, but yeah. towards the end of the year I was getting real good results, you know, I was winning cup races and getting in the top 10 in the pro classes, you know, so uh -huh. it was a big surprise for myself, you know. I didn't expect to be doing that well, like so. Next year, I'm hoping to improve on it, maybe get in top five, hopefully in the pro class. And you still obviously with the same team, RPM. Yeah, yeah. Me and Jamie's teammates again this year, and he's getting a 750 to ride in the superbike class in the Masters. So yes. it's going to be interesting to see how me and him can do. You know, hopefully both of us can win the championship. So what what uh, what championship are you entered in this year? The Adelaide Masters uh, Super Sport Class, Super Sport Cup, yeah. 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 And uh, you doing you doing the Irish Championship as well, uh, as you know with the, with the Northern Rounds. Yeah, team. yeah, Super Sport Cup and that as well, and then depending on budget, you know, we'll maybe go over and try and do a couple of British Super Stock and yeah. Jamie Super Sport, you yes. know, so it's just depending on how much money we can gather up. Congratulations on, on your good results towards the end of 2013, and for for myself personally, behind the bubble and from on, on behalf of the Irish fans, I wish you all the best for 2014, and have a safe and successful Hello, year. Hello, here um, Tony from Behind the Bubble. Uh, behind the Bubble, um, just photos and videos isn't it? Well we, we fit on board cameras to the bikes to, so that uh, young lads like yourself and Richard and Connor and uh, uh, racers in general can uh, that, that are young and upcoming can learn the circuits and s see from other people's footage as well where they can improve and possibly prevent accidents that are not unnecessary because I haven't learned the circuit correctly yeah, yeah. you know um, but also there's the entertainment value of of watching the footage from on board the bike yeah. so it actually gives the viewer at home the sensation that they're they're actually on the bike yeah. you know and uh, I'm sure you've watched some of the stuff yourself oh, and yeah. you know so really I should be asking you what your opinion yeah, of it is I know, I know. so I will ask you what your opinion yeah. is of what yeah well I've benefited from some of the footage you know obviously from Connor and the other lads but Definitely it is getting better footage and it's really it's turned out to be quite successful so I wish you all the best in the Thank business. You. Thank you very, very much. Cheers.